wanted this shit forever I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better okay. Alright, so I got myself a bike Finally uh, I've been looking for a bike now since I decided to do this challenge And it haven't been the easiest uh, Because you know you don't really know where to start and when you're a beginner like me you really don't know what to get uh, but first off uh, that beginning that was quite cool right uh, just wanted to say that that was just a little teaser of the full bike reveal that is uh, coming later on this episode so if you want to see that and all the details of the bike that I have bought make sure to stick around to see uh, to see that also, I just wanted to say that I had a blast shooting this uh, episode. I, I, I really missed being creative with, with the camera uh, and, and I think this turned out quite cool. It's not often that I, I get excited of, of something that I've, uh, that I've done when it comes to filmmaking because I normally don't I, I'm not happy with the result very often you know you are your own worst critic uh, and that really fits well on me I always have a picture in my head how it's going to turn out before the shoot and everything and you know it never turns out that way so uh, so I'm, I'm excited uh, that that I can do this now every week uh, yeah, I, I guess what I'm trying to say that I, is that I'm very happy that I've started this channel and where I can play around with my creativity and get better along the way in my filmmaking skills. Um, so yeah, uh, but enough of that and back to what this episode is really about. So let's talk a little bit about how to navigate in this jungle of different bikes as a newbie uh, as I am because I had no idea where to start or what to look for but luckily enough I had Sixten who helped me figure it out thank you but I thought it could be interesting for some of you to, to know what I was looking for and what I took in consideration before I was choosing a bike. I won't dig too deep in this because I'm I'm not a pro but I will give you some small uh, hints of what I've learned on this short adventure. Uh, so first off should you buy a road bike or a TT bike and what is the difference? So uh, a road bike is more of a all-rounded bike where it, you can sit a little bit more comfortable uh, than on a TT bike and but the TT bike is faster than a road bike mostly thanks to its aerodynamic design which cuts through the air in a more effect effectively way than uh, a road bike and a big difference, if you just look at the both like this, is that if you see to a road bike, you have these curved handles, which gives you this more upright uh, position, uh, which is normally more comfortable, but you catch more air. Uh, where on the TT bike, you have these lower handlebars straight which you almost gives you the position almost laying on the bike which gives you yeah less you, you catch less air which gives you the benefit of riding faster uh, so that is one thing to take in consideration are you going to just go for triathlon the TT bike is probably for you if you are thinking about going for bike rides with a like cycling club then maybe you should have a road bike because what i've understood you're more or less not welcome with a triathlon bike uh, or a tt bike in those uh, occasions so if i would have all the money in the world i would have gotten a road bike more for exercising and going like yeah you know on a regular basis more where it's a little bit more comfortable 
and then I would get a TT bike for the races and also yeah for some practice as well so you get used to the position the aggressive position but yeah I don't have all the money in the world so I had to choose one bike uh, so which one do you think I chose maybe it's time for that reveal now yeah I don't know, now when I'm looking at it again, maybe I hyped it up a little bit too much, but I, I, well, I like it. I thought it was really cool and uh, I haven't tried this slow shutter uh, film technique before, so it was kind of cool. Um, but I don't know, what do you, what do you think? You should uh, just leave a comment down below what you, what you think about it uh, and let's uh, also Subscribe if you don't do it already. And I have my bike right here. Woo! So here she is, the beauty and I'm the beast. All carbon fiber. It's like, it's incredible how light it is. Yeah, I never thought that I would be the kind of guy that has his bike inside the house, but yeah. Apparently I'm that kind of guy now. If you guessed a TT bike, you guessed right. Uh, I think that I will need all the help that I can get. So if one kind of uh, bike is faster than the other, I'm gonna go for that one. Um, and also I think it's pretty cool. And actually this episode wasn't supposed to be me sitting in here. My initial plan was that I would film this episode in uh, the warehouse where we were shooting the um, the bike reveal but the the sound you know it was such so much echo and everything so uh, it wasn't yeah I couldn't use it it wouldn't be nice to listen to uh, but I have some clips you might <laughs> like to see it's quite embarrassing not my most proud moments but uh, yeah let's Let's roll them here. Ska jag liksom ja du ställer dig där. Vad säger du ska jag? Jag ska ta på dig den här. Okej, okay. ska vi köpa en gång istället kanske. Ha? Vi får Ja, perfect. It fits. Dude. Yeah, it looks great. I can't be wearing this. Of course you can. Yeah, I think you look great. So now you don't need to stick a bottle in your uh, in your shirt. Huh? You don't need to stick a bottle in your shirt. You will be so aerodynamic because of your tummy. <laughs> Try the bike. Yeah. Great. So let's see. I never I never tried to clip them. Yeah. No. How how am I? What do I? The shoes didn't work, so I'm rocking these. Like a true newbie. Shit. Uh, he was a bit taller than me. I feel that. But it's okay, so something like this? Yeah. Looking good. Yeah, he was a lot taller than you. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, and you're sitting way too high, so your your hips are rocking like a rock and roller. Yeah. Your hips are rocking as much as Ozzy Osbourne. But his hips don't lie. Yeah, they don't. There you go. Marcus on a TT bike.
Yeah, I don't know what to say. Let's just act like we never saw that. So if you're not a millionaire just like me and you're going to buy a used bike uh, as your first bike, there is some things you should be thinking of. And the first thing is to check the frame, uh, the bike frame and the front fork, all the carbon fiber, that there is no cracks or any major uh, wear and tear so that, uh, yeah, there, there is no risk for, for, for it to break. I had no idea about this, but it's quite obvious when you think about it. It's, if you have a crack and you go like say 50 kilometers an hour and you suddenly hit the bump or in the road or whatever, the, the, the whole frame can crack. And yeah, you can just imagine what can happen then. So that's the first thing to, to look at. And then of course you should uh, try out all the gears so that uh, they are working just fine because that if there is problem with that, that it can be a quite expensive fix. Also a good thing to, to check out is that the brake is working like they're supposed to. The brake pad looks good. And also if you have rim brakes uh, like mine, um, you should check the like surface where you brake so that uh, yeah so it looks fine so it's not totally teared up and also you should look at the wheels that they are straight and like not misdirected also another thing is to look at the drive line and, and, and crank set that uh, that the, everything looks looks uh, just fine and no no wear and to no mayor wear and tear there as well uh, otherwise my bike, I'm, I'm super happy with it. Uh, you will see me ride a lot of, a lot on, on this bad boy uh, in the future. I think I got quite much bike for the buck, but we will see. Um, so that it doesn't break directly, but yeah. I, I'm super happy with it. I think that's pretty much for this uh, episode. Uh, next time it will hopefully be a little bit more action. Yeah, we, we are having uh, some uh, pretty heavy uh, bike intervals on Friday mornings. So I actually think that the next episode I'm gonna bring you to one of those and you will see uh, how we how we how we do how we do that. Yeah, it's getting quite late. It's time for me to go to sleep. So, uh, thank you so much for this time. And hit that like button, subscribe, share. Love you guys. You're awesome. See ya.